My fiance wants to become a trad wife after a wedding and I am tempted to call off the wedding as a result. Should I call off the wedding? I'm a 29 male. My fiance is 27. Uh, I'll say her name's Kate. I've been with Kate for four years, engaged for one, due to get married in July, and I do love Kate and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with her. But lately, she's been becoming serious about becoming a trad wife after getting married, and I'm having a hard time getting on board. I was then very surprised and asked her what made her suddenly desire to just stay at home and work. <laughs> to my shock, she said, TikTok of all things. So what this really comes down to is I think a lot of people are just running away from the fact that they're insecure about their future and they're just latching onto things that they see on social media. I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm calling the ladies out on this one. The amount of times women have told me, I want to farm. I want to farm. I want to farm so I can get our own milk and then get our own cheese and grow our own crops. And I'm like, bitch, all your plants are dead. You can't keep a fucking fern alive. Hey, you want to do what? People see these things through the lens of social media and they're convinced that this is the life that they want. Yeah. You're not getting a farm and all those animals are going to be better off because they don't have you. This morning I asked my toddlers what they wanted for breakfast and they both said cereal. So cereal it was and we got started right away. I made two types of cereal. The first one was chocolate chip cookie cereal. So I mixed some flour, peanut butter, maple syrup, milk and chocolate and formed that into a dough. Then I rolled tiny little balls and flattened them out to resemble. Put those in the oven as well for about 10 minutes. Once those were done, I let those cool. Have you ever asked yourself why it is that trad wives and other conservative female influencers who promote traditional gender roles have all the time in the world to make cereal from scratch, but somehow never seem to record themselves doing essential domestic labor like vacuuming, trying to get a particularly nasty stain out of a shirt or scrubbing a toilet. Okay. If you aren't aware, this is a huge fad right now. It's basically these women who call themselves trad wives and they're like, I'm going to make bread from scratch and I'm going to quilt a skirt from my two-year-old or whatever. They're, they're constantly doing stuff like this and this video genre is incredibly popular. So he's talking about this. Let's watch. It's always something that, strictly speaking, is unnecessary and they are doing it the hardest way possible. Because the answer is that it is for show. It is all a performance. In his remarkably prescient 1899 book, The Theory of the Leisure Class, Thorsten Veblen coined the terms conspicuous consumption and conspicuous leisure. Suggesting that those with wealth and power no longer having any economic production to contribute themselves, instead contribute to the production and consumption of leisure. And those consumption practices, those leisure activities, are conspicuous precisely because that is how the leisure class signals their difference from the working class. Signals their exceptionality and their superiority. Facts, because at the end of the day, if you're an actual trad wife in a regular marriage that's not with some really rich person, you don't have time to, you don't have time to make cereal. You're actually taking care of two, three kids. You're probably going to be going to buy stuff, managing the day-to-day -day household. You ain't got time to be You're going to buy fucking bread. Okay. You're going to buy your motherfucking bread. What are you talking about? You're not going to fucking sit here and do it. You're going to buy it. Why? Because I ain't got no time. Because I got to go back home. I got to pack lunches. I got to do the house. I got to clean. I got to do laundry. I got to help with homeworks. I'm, a, I'm not going to do the fucking bread. I'm going to buy it. Same thing with baking a pie. Oh, I'm going to bake a pie. Shut up. I'm going to thrift at best. I'm going to thrift at best. I don't have time to sit here and be like, mm, contemplating. No, I got shit to do. Shit need to be titty up in the house. Ain't nobody got time for that. Most of you don't have a house and don't know how, how much it is, how much, how much time, how much time consuming it is. You're going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to do this shit. for. I'm going to make pasta, fresh pasta. From it takes long. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like a working class motherfucker that, that like you got a normal job and a normal payout. No, you don't because you're trapped. So you don't work. So he has to work twice as hard. Well, you won't have to. Hey, what did you do? What did you do today, honey? Oh, today I made bread. Yeah, I made bread. Go buy it, stupid. There's I got a reason wait. why bakeries are popular, even in the most traditional places. It's because people go to the bakery to get it done because it's too time consuming. I got to wait three hours for that shit to bake? Who's no, that? let me buy it. Who's your making cereal? Nobody's making Pasta cereal. Pasta, I could understand. Why? Because getting store... Pasta is easy. Pasta is not the and same. Pasta is easy. Still, 
Still kind of, still time consuming though. Still time consuming, but and pasta like even for Italians, for example, they make a lot of their own pasta. Or they go to the place that make the pasta. Or they scratch. are really good. Or, or yes, yes, fair. If you have access to that, but so it's, it's the, just not a real trad life. That's all I'm saying. Remember in the fifties? No, you don't remember because you were not born. I don't remember because I was not born too. But in the fifties, you know there were some wives. You know when they got together, you know, and oh look, I baked the pie. That and you were better than the one that that bought it. Oh no, it's homemade. When you receive someone at home, but I had time to bake the pie myself. Right? Right? Cherry pie that I make? Oh yeah, it's home cooked. Oh, you're so good. That is, and it's, it's just the same thing. Yeah, but it's on TikTok and it makes money. Whenever they're telling you, oh look, I made this from scratch, it screams, I'm better than y'all. Because I do this on the regular, even if they don't. Yeah. Sorry about that. Better than a speak. Because you think about it, she's like, I asked my toddlers what they wanted. Okay. They said they wanted cereal. Let me make it from scratch. Shut oh, up. Oh, shut. Shut Just up. Just stop. <laughs> They're better than us because they are so wealthy and well off that they have nothing more important to worry about. And if we were to ever see trad wives perform essential productive domestic labor or see their husbands perform any domestic labor at all, that would, in fact, mark them as failures as trad wives. As Veblen wrote in 1899, again, he could have written it yesterday, application to productive labor is a mark of poverty and subjection. It becomes inconsistent with a reputable standing in the community. Because these videos are not instructional. They are maybe inspirational, but they are always performative. This is not real labor. This is symbolic labor. It is nothing more than social signaling that this woman and her family belong. Because, like, I want y'all to think about the whole video. Her makeup's all done. She's in a nightgown, so she's, like, kind of signaling... She has everything done here. Then she's got the wooden bowl. Everything is perfectly laid out in the no. kitchen, exemplarily clean at all times. Like this is this is a set. It's a it's like a little film set for her her thing. It's like the only person that I've seen all done up when they cook is Yada. And she's on Food Network, so it's gonna look good for TV. That's the same thing. It's a performance. And it is also how she builds and signals her value if you are the sort of person who operates within an exchange economy that assigns high and low value to human beings. Because her value to her husband is not in her ability to care for the home or care for the children, right? Anyone who is able to engage in this level of conspicuous leisure has somebody that they are paying to do all of those things. No, her value is instead in her ability to perform the role of trophy wife and to be the ultimate realization and personification of her husband's socioeconomic prowess. Because trad wives are conspicuous consumers, yes, but it is the audience's consumption of trad wives that truly makes them valuable to their husbands. That's a ridiculous video. I'm sorry. That, that's ridiculous. At the end of the day, should you be able to do this if you want to? Sure. Absolutely. But this new obsession that everyone has with being a trad wife, especially in a day and age where that financial possibility is dwindling like crazy, it's a bit concerning that I'm seeing how popular this new fad is. And look, I can understand that this movement has grown popular in the wake of telling women that having a job is the most important thing in the world. The counterbalance to that from a feminist standpoint is the reality that like being at home for your family, taking care of them is also a wonderful thing. And so I can understand that message becoming more and more popular as a lot of women felt unfulfilled by having a career. But I think it's important not to just veer off in the other swing of the pendulum so hard. The reality is financially, most of us are not gonna be able to live that life. Most of us are gonna to have to work. Both people in the couple are gonna to have to have jobs. Mm -hmm. So the more that this TikTok stuff sells this thing, the more you start to realize like, realize like, oh, this is a weird thing. I actually read a story recently. Oh, 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 what? I'm gonna read this story. Bit of background, we live in a major city. Uh, I earn an average salary. She earns an okay salary working as a store manager. Together we earn enough to pay the rent for a small fat flat, pay the bills, and have a small amount left over for some small luxuries, take out, going to the movies, etc. It takes forever us to make substantial savings, most of which are going to this wedding, but we are doing okay. And that is with two incomes. While I do earn more than her, it's not mega bucks more, and we drop just one income, we would just be surviving. True, her salary isn't anything glamorous, but it's enough to help pay the bills and add to the savings pot. Now for the issue. Shortly after New Year's, Kate and I were just chilling on the couch after workday when Kate brought up the post-wedding life. It mentioned the idea of becoming a trad wife after marriage. I had never heard of this before and asked her what that was. She explained that it meant traditional wife, and it was for a wife that stayed at home, cooked, looked after the household chores, including cleaning and cooking, and more importantly, looked after the husband by attending to his needs. 
I said that sounded like a housewife, and she said it was more than just a normal housewife because a trad wife does everything herself to look after the home and husband without any paid work. <laughs> run. R run. Run. Because. Because. Being a trad, right there in the formulation of it, no, 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 it's not a housewife. I'm better than that. That's, that's what it is. I'm not a housewife. No, 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 not a housewife. I am better. It's, she wants the position. She wants the, the, the title. The title sounds exciting. I'm a trad wife. You know what? Being a trad wife is, is a privilege. It's a privilege. Yep, yep, you do not. Her or you make enough for her to be a trad wife. Miles, a big question is, y'all ain't got no kids. Y'all ain't got no kids. That's not a trad wife. Y'all ain't got no babies. That's a motherfucker that stays home and do nothing. You a leech. You a leech. <laughs> I want to be a trad wife. No. no. You don't want to do shit. That's it. Also, I like how she's like, no. A housewife is different than a trad wife. No, it's not. Because a trad wife does everything in caps to look after the home. Well, what does that even mean? What you gonna? <laughs> I mean that that doesn't justify. That's just that justifies me not working and not bring money. I do everything here. It, so so you bring the money. So what is she gonna make cereal from scratch too? Yeah. And then add it on top oh, of the. Oh, you know what? Let me Google. What's the difference between a housewife and a trad wife? <sighs> That's a good question. The, there's there's no difference. But she wants to make it sound like she's better than that. What you know what it's mean? saying? It's saying a, a trad wife is a housewife with a social media spin. They're basically branding it differently. It's a brand, it's but it's just what it is. I was thrown off guard by this, as Katie has never shown desire to just stay at home before. And the only time it was discussed was in relation to kids, which we said she was happy being a stay-at-home mom for when the kids were young, because on her salary, we'd probably be paying more for childcare anyway. That makes sense. No, that no, that's fine. That's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. That's okay. not the same thing. Okay, good. I'm glad they, they, distinct, they, they distinguish that. Okay. More to the point, the idea of her just staying at home all day and cleaning cooking is a bit strange to me when we live in such a small place. Red flag. Between the two of us, we can clean the whole flat in half a day. It takes me about half an hour to vacuum and mop all the floors, for example. When I was self process that I thought she was joking but she was dead serious I was then very surprised and asked her what made her suddenly desire to just stay at home and work <clears throat> to my shock she said TikTok of all things apparently there are videos and TikTokers that are these trad wives that talk about how great the lifestyle is and how happy their marriages are these trad wives claim their husbands are always happy and home life is the best so Kate wants that for us too yo bruv bun that I told her that wouldn't make me happy it makes no sense we live in a small flat requires low upkeep we can't afford it. Again, I understand her income isn't great, but it's pitiful. She gave a non-committal shrug and thought that was the end of and I thought that was the end of it. Nope. She approached me again a few days later with the idea. I told her I was against it. I tried to pry more about why she wanted to suddenly be a trad wife. She kept banging on about TikTok and how she really does feel that her staying home would be the best thing for our marriage. She keeps bringing it up and now it seems she's adamant. I can't get anything more out of her apart of like, it's good for our marriage. I watched some of these TikTok videos, I'm sorry, but they come across as really creepy. These trad wives seem to do nothing but dress like Lucy Ball and cook bread from scratch. It's bizarre and not something I'm looking for in a lifetime partner. Your partner got influenced by TikTok. I don't know how much more I can tell Kate about how much I'm against this and it's falling on deaf ears. As a result, I'm seriously reconsidering our relationship. Good. This is what I think. I think a lot of women and a lot of men feel a lot of insecurity about their future. And when you're in a job field you don't like because you chose a wrong career or maybe you're feeling unfulfilled with your life, you look at these women on TikTok and you're like, oh, Maybe if I stayed at home, I like caring for people. I like caring for my boyfriend. I'd love to care for the house, and that'll make me feel fulfilled. Now, that may be true for some people, but it's not going to be true for all of you. The same way not everyone is built for a lifelong job. Not everyone's built for a trad life. Not everyone even has the ability or the privilege to. Not everyone's going to be able to work in the field that they're super passionate about. You know, some of y'all want to write poetry for the rest of your life. It's not possible for everybody, okay? So what this really comes down to is I think a lot of people are just running away from the fact that they're insecure about their future and they're just latching onto things that they see on social media. 
be it the people who think that they're going to be entrepreneurs are going to make it big the guys who think if they just go into crypto and then they're going to be rich and they're going to be fulfilled everyone's looking for a quick way out that's essentially what it is wherever you look on the internet this is just another version of that I know guys who are like, I'm going to start, a, a, I'm gonna start a doing an online shop. And I, I saw this course on Andrew Tate. That's another one. Everyone is looking for the quick way. OnlyFans girls are doing it. Everyone's trying to find their way out of the matrix, if you will. And the truth is, there are no easy answers. It is very hard to find your place in the world. And in that insecurity, I can completely understand falling for these fans. It just doesn't make it healthy. And I think Trad Wife is just another example of that. A lot of you guys are going to be stuck at home with the kids. And you know how many times you hear about women like, I'm going insane having to take care of these kids all day long. I just want to put them in daycare. I'm fucking sick. Not everyone's built for it. So just careful what you try to bite onto. And secondly, <laughs> I hope this fad dies because it's just not financially responsible. And it's not reasonable for most of you. And you really just see that. You just really you just see the, the, op, the, 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 the positive side of it. You really see the good and the glamour and everything and stuff. Ooh, she looks so good. Ooh, she's cooking. It's great. And she's saying, my marriage is great. Yeah, because the person has the means for that. Hmm? But you're going to be trad wife, and you're going to make all everything from scratch, and then he's going to have to have a beer with his boys. And it's like, you never spend time from, you never spend time with me. <laughs> trad wife, you need to do some cooking over there. I'll be with my boys drinking beer. That's also that. Yep. You because you're trad now. You can't say much. My part of the job is I brought, I, brought, I brought the money. I brought the money up and you cook and you clean. I don't have to take you out. I will eventually, but right after you do the, the dishes. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this too. It's not fun. I'm always stuck with the kids. That's your job definition. I'm glad. We should, we should be, have a weekend out. Nope. No, the kids, the kids are not in kindergarten. They need someone. True. So that's your... Try to wife. Hashtag. Mm, enjoy. Anything else? You grew tomatoes once and you have a cat and all of a sudden you think you're the queen of animals and, 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 and vegetables. Stop. Stop. A farm is just... But anyways, Shut let us know up. what you guys think in the comments below. How do you guys feel about this whole trad quan, trad wife phenomenon? Trad quan. I don't know what the f it is. Trad quan is a good name. Let What's your name, trad quan? Let us know. And I want a trad wife.